Uh, howdy, y'all. So right here I have the Lord's Kelvin Thunderstorm, right? It's been around for, I want to say like a few centuries, right, uh, presented by Lord Kelvin. But the idea is you turn gravitational potential energy from water droplets into a columbic force, right? So you have two inductors right here that are held. Uh, these stands need to be improved, but, uh, which you guys might be able to do. <laughs> but basically, in a perfect world, you'd have neutral water and neutral uh, metals, but that's not the case here. We have differences in charge uh, throughout uh, both of these inductors and uh, pools or collectors in these buckets. So as the water drops down, it sort of polarizes these cans. And over time, you will have a snowball effect of charge on both of these inductors that will have uh, opposite charges. So uh, yeah, you'll just have a snowball effect of opposite charges on both of these cans. And they'll be electrically connected. Um, these collectors or wells and over time you'll accumulate larger and larger charge on these buckets that will then travel to these little doorknobs here which act as a spark gap so yeah basically uh, through accumulation of opposite charge you have a great electric potential in between these two doorknobs that will eventually spark if it is done correctly so uh, there are a few uh, key important things adjusting the height is probably the biggest thing when it comes to this demo uh, you need to make sure that whenever you do start dropping it, that the flow on top is laminar and at the bottom it starts breaking into little droplets. Uh, I think I have that set up correctly, yeah. Uh, you want the streams to be pretty close to the cans, but not super close to where it actually touches it. And that's because these water droplets will have the opposite charge of the inductors. And as soon as the water touches the cans, it will um, completely isolate it. Uh, not completely isolate it, it will completely uh, eliminate any sort of charge piece that built up. Um, but yeah, you let it run. Uh, you might have to nudge these a little bit. And maybe there'll be a spark. But yeah, it's basically in principle. You just need to make sure that everything is electrically isolated. Uh, this laminate on this wood, it turns out to be conductive or conductive enough for this uh, setup to not work, which is why we have it on this piece of insulating wood. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I can think of.